Time having arrived for Monday, October 27th, 8 o'clock, City Council. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good evening. Mr. Clerk. We got the petition of Mass Electric Company and Verizon New England Inc. requesting a 35 foot class four pole down guy and anchor with an eight foot lead. Pole and anchor will be located on town property on the north side of Merton Street. Pole will be labeled 10 84. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor of this petition? If so, please come forward. Anyone here in the chamber in favor of this matter? Councilor, entertain a motion. Mr. Mr. President. Councilor. Uh, I'd make a motion. We maybe we can move this to the end of the agenda and see if the uh, Verizon shows up. Second. Motion made properly. Second to take agenda <laughs> item number one. Council, will you also revise that and make agenda item number two as well? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, items one and two. Agenda items number one and two will be uh, put to the end of the agenda. All in favor, please raise your hands. All opposed, motion carries. We will hear that at the end of the meeting tonight. Mr. Clerk, number three, please. Report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of October 20th, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 20th, 2014. That too, accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor appointing Lawrence Raleigh as Interim Commissioner of Public Works pursuant to Mass General Laws, <coughs> Chapter 41, Section 61A, as of October 6, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Interim DPW Commissioner requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance of the Mass Environmental Protection Sustainable Materials Recovery Program Municipal Grant in the amount of $12,000 to purchase recycling bins for the City of Brockton Recycling Depot at 300 Oak Hill Way. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. That too, Council, is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development on behalf of the Department of Planning and Economic Development, Park and Recreation Department, and Brockton Redevelopment Authority, requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of $140,000 grant from the Com of Massachusetts Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs through the Water Conservation Fund Act for the renovation of the Royal Scope Park site. The required 50% match will be paid from the BRA through the Community Development Block Grant Funds. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CF, uh, from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too, accepted and placed on file. We have an audience amending section 2-127 the revised audiences of the City of Brockton. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows, section 2-127, the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, hereby amended by amending section 2-127, pay plan, by adding the title budget director to the classification of DA slash P-2, and council May 27, 2014, referred to the Committee of Finance, that report is favorable. Councilors, the question is a passage to a third reading by a hand vote. All in favor of passage to a third reading? Councilors, all in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, it passes to a third reading. An ordinance submitting Article 13 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 13, Procurement, Article 1, Contract Qualifications and Sanctions, in Council August 25, 2014, referred to the Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable as amended. Councilors, the first question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment, please raise your hand. All opposed? Question now is uh, on passage to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. All in favor of passage? All opposed? It carries. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Section 27-73, Electronic Advertising Boards. In Council, August 25, 2014, Read and refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance and Planning. That report is favorable as amended. Councilors, the question is on the amendment. All in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? Now the question is on the passage to a third reading. As amended, all in favor. Opposed? It passes to a third reading. An ordinance amending chapter 
<clears throat> 14 of the revised ordinances the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council, City of Brockton, as follows. Chapter 14, Offenses. In Council, October 14, 2014. Referred to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Council's question is on a passage to a third reading by hand vote. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, it passes to a third reading. An ordinance amending Chapter 11 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 11, Section 11-162. In Council, October 14, 2014, refer to the Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Council's question is on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, passes to a third reading. We have the appointment of Jane Monahan Brockton as a member of the Council on Aging Board for a three-year term and in October 2017. In Council, October 14, 2014. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ineri. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The appointment is hereby confirmed. Appointment of Chris Connolly Brockton as a member of the Board of Park Commissioners for a five year term in March 2019. In Council October 14, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, uh, the question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Manier. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 Appointment is hereby confirmed. The appointment of John Kenny Brockton as a member of the Council on Aging Board, three year term ending in October 2017. End Council October 14, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Hazak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby confirmed. Appropriation of five thousand one hundred eighty-seven dollars seventy-two cents for the Massachusetts Association of Health Boards, Plymouth County Region Five Emergency Coalition Grant Fund to the City of Brockton Board of Health, Massachusetts Medical Reserve Corps Grant Fund for the purpose of building the level of volunteers for the area Medical Reserve Corps. In Council, October 14, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Levin in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted. An appropriation of $44,435 from the Mass Emergency Management Agency Performance Grant Program. The Brockton Emergency Management Agency intends to use these grant funds to purchase operational equipment for BEMA as well as the Emergency Operations Center. In Council, October 14, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Appropriations hereby adopted, Councils. Audit an act providing for rent regulations and the control of evictions in manufactured housing and mobile home communities in the city of Brockton. End Council, May 27, 2014. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to enter the intermunicipal agreement between the Town of Abington <coughs> and the City of Brockton for transport and treatment of wastewater from Abington and transmission. This agreement is intended to supersede and replace the current agreement between the parties. In Council June 23, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. In Council July 28, 2014, Council Stadensky motion to send back to finance, properly seconded. In Council September 22, 2014, Council Dubois motion to send back to finance properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. 
the recommendation is favorable as amended. Mr. President. Council. Is there any way we could have that amendment read? It was read last, last week, Council. We could. If, is that a motion? It's a motion to have the amendment read. Council, let me just explain, if I could, what the amendment was. It was amendment. That would be enough for me. Okay. The amendment was drafted by legal counsel for the city, Mr. Nezzarella, legal counsel for us, Mr. Gilday, and Mr. Petrini for the town of Abington. And thank you, colleagues from town of Abington, for being here tonight. Um, when the addendum was brought forward, um, I mentioned to the attorney for the city, Mr. Nezzarella, that the word Brockton should be clarified by and through its city council, comma. So that was the only change that was made, by and through its city council. Your colleague from Ward 1, Mr. Cruz, uh, made the motion on that, and it was adopted as such. We voted on that. I was sent an amendment um, by attorney Nezzarella that talked about um, there being a mile radius. That's of correct, Council. That's the same thing I'm talking about. That was part of the agreement. That, 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 that is the addendum. The only clarifying point that was made last week by and through its city council Great. relative to So, Brockton. what I read from Attorney Nessarella was. That part didn't of the change at all. Thank you very much. Thank you for your efforts on that, Council. Thank you. Thank you very much. Council, is there any other question on this? Now, the, the question is on the amendment by hand vote. All in favor of the amendment, raise your hand. All opposed, the amendment's gonna carry. Now we're gonna take a vote by a roll call vote. <coughs> Questions on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, could you please read the roll? Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. No. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative one of the members. Order is hereby adopted. Order that the City of Brockton Government Study Committee is hereby established to be comprised of seven citizens of the city, three of whom to be appointed by the mayor and four of whom to be appointed by the city council president. Each committee member shall be a registered voter and to the extent possible possess expertise and knowledge relevant to the work of such government study committee. The GSC is charged with exploring by whatever means it deems appropriate all aspects of local government organizations and structure the strengths and weaknesses in Brockton's current form of government and areas for improvement, alternative models of government and recommend changes in such organizations and structure included, but not limited to, the terms of office and the method of selections of officials consistent with the needs of the city and designed to achieve greater efficiency and effectiveness in the delivery of government services. In Council August 25, 2014, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Mr. Clark, Mr. President, the roll. is it possible to ask for a recess on, on the motion? A recess? A recess? Yes. You want a recess? Yes. I'll grant it. Okay, thank two, you. two minute recess. Yes, thank you.
They're on. We're out of recess, councillors. So, Mr. President, on, on the motion, I think the motion have this uh, postponed to the next finance meeting. Second. Second. Motion made, properly seconded, uh, to postpone until the first first FinCom of next month. Uh, yes, sir. All in favor? Raise your hand, please. All opposed? Motion carries. Postponement until first FinCom in the month of November. Thank you. I resolve that the representatives of Procton Area Branch of the NAACP be invited to appear before a committee of this council to report on the efforts of the organization. In Council October 14, 2014, refer the Standing Committee <coughs> on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. 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 Resolved is hereby adopted. Resolved that the President, CEO of Family and Community Resources, Inc., <clears throat> President of Love Life New Foundations, Inc., and the Director of Violence Intervention and Prevention of Health Imperatives be invited before a committee of this council to discuss domestic violence awareness and its resources. In council October 14, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Resolve is hereby adopted. Resolved that the city solicitor, interim police chief, acting DPW commissioner, and traffic commissioner come before the committee, finance committee, to discuss lowering the driving speed in certain areas within the city, excluding streets, highways, roads under the state's authority, as part of an effort to reduce pedestrian injuries and or deaths. In council October 14, 2014, for the committee on finance, that report is favorable. Councilors, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 Sullivan. Yes. Resolve is hereby adopted. Yeah. This is uh, number 28. This order, number 28, will be picked up as a resolved under item 31. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And we're going on to uh, number 29. Appropriation of $12,000 for the Mass Department of Environmental Protection and Sustainable Materials Recovery Program Municipal Grant to Refuse Department Recycling Containers Grant Fund. It's referred to Finance Committee. Appropriation of $140,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs through the Water Conservation Fund Act for the renovation of the Roscoe Park site to the City of Brockton Planning Department Grant Fund on behalf of the Department of Planning and Economic Development, Park and Recreation Department, and Brockton Redevelopment Authority. There is a 50% match will be paid from the BRA through the Community Development Block Grant Funds. Referred to Finance Committee. Resolved that the Brockton City Council expresses to the mayor its belief that due diligence conducted to date by the city on the proposed transaction is inadequate to allow for an informed consideration of the proposed transaction. And be it further resolved that the Brockton City Council expresses its position that no consideration of the proposed transaction shall be undertaken by the City Council without the City of Brockton first obtaining the <coughs> issuance of an invitation for a proposal by the Chief Procurement Officer, a detailed financial due diligence analysis by a non-city affiliated independent financial service firm of the fair market value of the Aquaria Water LLC desalinization plant in Dighton, Massachusetts. For the Finance Committee. Now we're going back. Number one and number two. I, I'd make a motion to continue these to the next second. meeting. Second. Second. Motion made properly second. Both council, both one and two. Council Stanisky? Correct. <coughs> motion was made uh, for number one and number two on the agenda to continue these or postpone these uh, until the uh, next meeting next month. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, the matter's going to carry. We're going to continue those. Councilors, I want to uh, just take a quick moment to thank 
uh, everyone that participated in Saturday's um, facilities review. Um, I want to read those that attended. I know Council Ian Airy, Council Monaghan had to work on Saturday, they had an obligation. Council Cruz had a funeral. Council DiNapoli had a family matter. Um, Council Azak, Council Barnes, Council Dubois, Council Rodriguez, Council Stewart, Council Stanisky, myself, Council Sullivan from the City Council. We attended. Uh, again, we visited the Hancock School, North Middle School, the Brookfield School, the Huntington School. Uh, it was Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 12, so it was a four hour block. It was really a great presentation that started with Superintendent Smith at Brockton High School. We got a lot of stats, and then we hit the streets and saw. Uh, some of the uh, conditions of the building on the school committee, our colleagues, uh, Mr. Henningsen, Mr. Jordan, Ms. Joyce, Mr. Minicello, Ms. Sullivan, and Ms. Wilson were in attendance. State Rep. Brady, State Rep. Cronin were there as well. Of course, Kathy Smith, superintendent, was there. Mike Thomas, the assistant superintendent. From the school department, we had uh, June Saber, mm -hmm. Aldo Petronio, Cliff Murray. Mm -hmm. We had Mr. Mark Lindy, who's the Brockton rep to the Southeastern Regional Vocational. We had Rob May, our new city planner. We had Kim Gibson, who is the BEA uh, president for the Union for the Teachers. Uh, Mayor Carpenter and U.S. Uh, Senator Ed Markey met us at the last stop at the Huntington School. I, uh, I do want to thank all my colleagues for participating. Uh, I thought that it was really uh, worthwhile. I think you probably share that. Uh, we also, I think, uh, it was a little eye-opening, some of the conditions of some of the, uh, some of the uh, institutions, specifically some of the bathrooms that these uh, youngsters have to go to. Um, so I want to thank you again. I want to thank Superintendent Smith publicly. And uh, I, I would hope that uh, this would continue in, in, in the future as well, because it definitely was beneficial. Um, anything else before us? <coughs> Seeing none, City Council is hereby adjourned.